Hey everyone! Okay, so today I have another review video for you, and this one is a shout out to Laura for hooking me up with Grateful House. I am going to review their carousel puzzle. Again, I have absolutely no idea what to expect out of this brand. So, let's get into it and find out. Hey everyone! Okay, so, first off, Today's video is courtesy of Laura. So we're giving Laura a huge shout out because she hooked me up with Grateful House. She has been like on a winning streak and been super lucky. They did a couple of draws for free puzzles and she won a couple. And she was nice enough that she took her free puzzle. She's like, you know what? Give Max one. So thank you, Laura. You made this video possible because you got us in touch with Grateful House. And they were nice enough to ship me this one. I took your advice, I grabbed the carousel one, um, honestly I struggled hard to pick one. I really liked the Polar Express one, the bears were so cute, oh my goodness. I could have bought them all, really I could have, but hey, you gotta pick one, gotta start out, gotta know if they're any good. I have heard very good things about them, but I've never done one myself, I've never so much as opened the box or the little cellophane wrap. so. This is a totally new experience for me. And if any of you guys out there have already done one, you kind of know what I'm in for more than I do, which is exciting. Um, so at first glance, with the box, the one thing that intrigued me the most is that their front picture of the box, unlike most puzzle companies, is a super zoomed up picture of the image. So this little hippo is not the full image. This is just part of it. You actually have to flip the box over to the back to see the full image, which is really exciting. That's different. Um, and it gives you a little bit of information about the artist. So in this case, it was a guy named Dulk that did this. Um, and I might, uh, I think I'll just do a close-up cam for you guys while I read that so you guys can see the imagery on the back of the box and all that good stuff as well. Okay, so right off the hop here, here is the front of the box, as you can see, super zoomed in. I mean, if the box is any indication, like it's gonna be a really pretty image. So much detail. All right, let me flip her around to the back. This is what the full image looks like. So as you can see, super different from what's on the front of the box. You really only get to see like the hippo and a little bit of the carousel on the front of it. And here is the little blurb about the artist. So. Dulk was born in, I'm going to say this wrong, Valencia. Oh, Valencia! Hey! Uh, hey! <laughs> I'll throw this at you and then they'll get to see the close-up cam fly. Uh, where he still lives nowadays. Dulk is an all-purpose artist between urban art, drawing, painting, sculpture. Each medium is a challenge that he takes up with pleasure and determination. His naturalistic worlds show us a tragic... A, a, Ah, a tragic comic and is surrealistic themed. I've totally lost my place. Landscape full of details. Sometimes real, sometimes fiction, but always inviting us to dive on them. Um, his compositions recreate biological environments involving an ant involved in antagonistic concepts. With soft chromatic palette, Dalt creates an honoric narrative scenario, narrative scenario full of characters which the first visualization that transmits beauty and calm that will lead us into a deeper meaning in the following observations. Interesting. So, a bit of a different way of doing things. Let us pop this one open. And by the way, this is limited edition. So if you are interested in grabbing this for yourself, I popped the affiliate link in the description. You may want to grab this as well as some of the other animal ones while they're still around. But that is if they're good quality. Let's see. Again, I hear good things, but gotta see. Okay, so so far, super nice quality box. Very, very sturdy. Ooh, hard to open. This <laughs> so good box quality for sure. What's this? Oh, there's, oh, what's this? What's this? Ah, I cannot open it. <laughs> Don't look at me like I'm a child. Um, enclosed is a gift card for you to keep or give. Scan code to register your warranty, become a VIP, and get free puzzles. Um, thank you for choosing Grateful House. 
Uh, Grateful House is searching the globe to find amazing artists with the aim of introducing their work to a niche that may have otherwise known about, that uh, they may not have otherwise known about their talent. We hope you enjoy every piece of this puzzle and take a moment to think about how incredible it is to connect with this artist. We take enormous pride in our customers, you, you that are humbled and grateful to be part of your, um, to place trust in this brand. Okay, so, interesting. So I could get a warranty on a puzzle, I guess? What's this? Oh, it's a card! Oh, they, like they meant like a real card. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Alright, that's different. Huh. Yeah, it's like a, it literally is just like a card card, like for Christmas or greeting card or something. That's cool. I've never seen a company do that. All right. Um, it is worth noting. Oh, some of y'all may have seen this on my dragon before. Because this came around Christmas, they actually sent a cute little card. So kind of very much like PuzzQuest did, they sent a personalized little message, which was super cool. Um, and they said... Hi Maxine, we're so excited for you to try our puzzles. If you plan to go live slash share on YouTube, let us know and we can watch and share, which is awesome. So, hello Grateful House, I'm sure you're watching this at some point. Oh, thank you for the card and the puzzle. Back on my collection of cards. So yeah, okay, that's interesting. Neat little card. I would never have assumed that. That's cool. Different idea, I like it. We have the puzzle. It looks like it'll be possibly soft click because it's got the little blue backside like Ravensburger usually does. Oh, what's this thing? Oh wow, it's, it's like a, a little. Bag. It's a wow. bag. Wow. That's that's one up from. Uh, Holy crap. That's one up from a Ziploc bag. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Jesus. So I guess you guys know like you're getting what you pay for with these puzzles. Holy crap. This is to store your pieces in after when you're done. It's got a little zipper. It, it's a cloth bag like that's crazy I mean that like that's a unique concept as well from one up again like you said it's Ziploc bags it would definitely increase the price of puzzles but this would be more permanent and sturdy you wouldn't have to worry about the plastic ripping or anything Wow cool that's really neat holy crap if this poster is the same size as the puzzle this is gonna be a big puzzle <laughs> I don't think that's the case in this time. I think this is a legit, legit poster. No, that seems real, right? You think so? That seems really big. That's a piece. Yeah, that seems right. I don't know. I don't feel like I normally reach that much, but holy crap. Yeah, but I think it's the dimension of it, because it's a taller... Maybe. So that, is it a, a hippo or whatever? Does that ever have good detail to it, though? They that's printed really, it really, really well. really, really glossy. Wow. Wow. Like, there's probably a bit of a glare for you guys. I don't know if that the helps overhead at all. is, but the, this, the That's front, pretty good. Yeah. So if I flip it around, I don't know if turning the light out would help at all. Go it up. Hmm? You can do the, you can do it close Oh, up. I will, but like, I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a close-up camera. this really nice picture. Because as you can see, you guys, holy crap, if the piece quality holds a candle to this, like, the, look at that thing. That's insane detail. From what I've seen so far, I'm going to make the assumption that it is, considering that they're putting in bags. Like, the bag, <laughs> a real, look at the cute little narwhal. Like, a real bag for their puzzle. That's crazy. I don't know why. I really, I'm really excited to put that together. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... Incredible poster. Holy smokes. If you need fine details, they uh, they did you right with this one. Holy smokes. Now you know what it's like to watch me try to wrap a Christmas present. There you go. Alright, so... Thanks. Alright, so, so far pretty impressed with what's inside this box. I can't believe I now have a fancy bag to put my pieces in. That's like major upgrading. Alright. The moment of truth. Time to see what the pieces are like. Alright you guys. Let's see. Yeah. See? 
I almost lost a piece. That is why you don't throw out the bag before you finish the puzzle. That's bad luck. I don't know if that's true, but that's how I feel. All right, so yes, they probably are soft touch pieces. They've got a matte finish to them, so far as I can tell. Super thick. Like they rival Ravensburger for the thickness. Here, I'll show you guys. And they are, they look like the regular cut as well. They're pretty standard. So as you guys can see, not as shiny as some other puzzles. Very, very matte finish. They got blue back sides. They all look like they're printed super nicely. I will say the one nice thing about the glossy finish is that the color really pops, I find, more than the matte finish. It's something, I, I don't know, it's something about the printing quality, I think. Still very, very pretty nonetheless. It looks like there is quite a bit of detail, and you can kind of see there's almost a painting style texture to some of them, kind of like in this guy here. Interesting. All right. So I'm going to start popping some pieces in to see what the clickability is like. Poster. What? <laughs> just... No perception of size. In the... <laughs> no. It looked bigger. Like it looked monstrous. It's not my fault. I was born this way. <laughs> Make fun of me. you guys so so far I'm really impressed with the quality I've done the border uh, I will say it's not as challenging oops geez, there goes the close-up cam as I thought it would be I think it has to do with the details and actually the matte style of printing in itself I think has something to do with it if it makes any sense the uh, the little cross hatch that you see when you get a matte finish um, gets more mattier <laughs> as you go down into the dark areas and I can't explain that. Maybe that's something I just see. But I found that was a pretty big point of ease with this puzzle. So I'm going to show you a couple pieces going in and see what you think. Um, I'll put this together. I think will be the easiest. Okay, you guys. So let's put some of these guys together.
This may be a puzzle I'll be able to pick up when I'm done. Like, I, it could just be that there's not really that much connection here at the base. But, I mean, the big chunks are staying together fairly well when I pick them up. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. there's a bear I got really excited about the bear you guys I'm sorry I know there's a lot of animals in the puzzle but for some reason the bear was like Alright you guys, so as you can see I'm making pretty good progress right now. I've got like pretty much the whole top head of the um, the hippo done. I've got little bits of the carousel, I've got a narwhal. I want to show you this really cute bear that's in the forest that I got so excited about when I'm like, oh my god, there's a bear in this puzzle. Um, and then I'll put some of the pieces together for you again with a close-up cam. So let me show you. Okay. So really beautiful artwork so far. The colors really pop, like it, it's printed really well. I will say there's something about printing in matte that I think mutes the colors a little bit, but it actually works with this puzzle. Like it creates this calming effect, I think. So there's the inside of the carousel, you know, like it, it's nice. There's the thing that I was so excited to put together. Here's my really cute little bear. Look at him hiding in the forest. I was so excited about that. I can't even explain why. Like, I was just excited about this bear. Um, so I figured I would put some of these pieces together for you guys so you guys could get a better sense of what it looks like and how they click together. Ha <laughs> ha. 
It's not enough room to work. <laughs> I've made a mess. No one is surprised, I'm sure. goes here and then this weird looking one <laughs> goes off beside it that I haven't built yet you can't see what I'm talking about just yet it doesn't exist he's weird looking trust me you'll see in a moment like easily the weirdest one he doesn't quite connect right into it yet but holy smokes does he ever look weird he reminds me of like a tree thing out of skyrim one of the um um oh it'll come to me um the spriggans if you guys have ever played it it's weird looking but there we have it i just put most of the carousel together which is very exciting oh look the top can go on i get excited sorry <laughs> um but yeah there you go
again. <laughs> I didn't get to see them. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> Show me. Done now. Yay! It's done! Woo! That was a fun one, you guys. That was a cute little puzzle. Like it, I do think that the mat works for it. It really helps give it that calming 
feeling to it. It is printed very well. The colors aren't quite as bright and vibrant as I thought they would be, but again, I think that actually works in this case. Um, the design and detail and all that is still top notch. It's still really good. Um, quality stick togetherness is just like Ravensburger. You can pick it up and it stays together. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll do a close up for you guys. We got the hippo above the water. It's underneath in the start of the carousel. Got the cute little narwhal. And we got everything going on down here. The weirdest horse ever. <laughs> All kinds of neat things. These neat little guys around the bottom. Those platypuses really tripped me up because there was like three of them. My god. And I was like, what's happening here? Yeah, altogether very, very nice. I'd say I'm pretty impressed with this brand. Like it didn't um it didn't knock my socks off completely in the puzzle aspect of it. Like it, it's a good puzzle. It is. It reminded me very much of doing a Ravensburger puzzle. So they have, like, they've got that down. There just wasn't anything like super, super new and exciting about it to be like, holy crap, they've revolutionized puzzling. But no, they've, um, I would equate it. It's up there in the Ravensburger tier. The piece quality is great. The image quality is great. You get a fancy bag to put your pieces in afterwards. Like you really can't argue with that. Um, yeah, and it was actually, in terms of difficulty, it was a little bit easier than I thought it would be. Once I got down to all the blue, it did become a little bit more challenging, but there was a surprising amount of, um, there was a surprising amount of detail that really helped and made it easier to distinguish, is it this blue, is it that blue, is it this blue, and they have enough little things going on in it that I think it actually helps a little bit more with the breakup than it would first appear. So if you were a little discouraged from this puzzle for maybe it possibly being a little too difficult, don't worry, it's actually not as hard as it looks at first glance. So yeah. Alrighty, I think that's it for me then, you guys. Uh, remember, those links are in the description if you're interested in this one or some of the other ones from the series, perhaps, that you want to check out. Give those um, affiliate links a click, and yeah, that's it for me. Thank you, Laura, for getting me in touch with Grateful House. Hi, Grateful House. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sending me the puzzle. I will definitely get more of your puzzles in the future. I'd say you're like a 9.5 out of 10 in the puzzling world. You got something going on, right? I really am. I'm so impressed with this idea of a non-Ziploc bag that you can reuse and put your pieces in. Like, that alone is a 10 out of 10 idea. Um, you're the first brand I've ever seen that's done this. I know it would make the price of the puzzle a little bit more. Honestly, honestly, I prefer this. I like this concept. All right, you guys. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night.